Hi, Dr. Andrew Maxim, naturopathic doctor here and the creator of the Maxim Movement. And this is going to be a series of videos that I'm going to create on how you can identify if your symptoms are coming from a parasite overgrowth, what it's doing to your body, how we can treat it, and of course get you feeling so much better. So this video is just going to simply talk about an overview of what parasites are that I'm particularly finding for the most part in my practice and what it's causing to your body. So maybe you can think outside the box and say, maybe this is actually the root cause of my chronic fatigue or skin condition or what have you. So when we're talking about parasites, it's alarming that 85 to 95% of conditions today could actually be due to some sort of a parasite overgrowth. Now, what I want to make clear is as we're talking about parasites, the ones that I identify with are the amoebas and the protozoa. So these are microscopic. We're talking 50 times the magnification it takes to see these with the naked eye. And this is where I use a technique called live blood analysis. And so when we're doing this, we're able to see these parasites, which are completely found in the environment. And if you're exposed to kids, other humans, food, water, you name it, you're getting exposed to these bugs. And the reason why I clarify parasite overgrowth is because we're never going to be free of some of these bad characters, but it's just when the body completely lets go and allows them to take over, that's typically when symptoms start to happen. The other, the other more typical category of parasites that most people are familiar with are like the pinworms or tapeworms, um, much larger things that you can actually see with the naked eye. And again, what I'm talking about are those environmental critters that we're getting exposed to that you might not necessarily be able to see them. So when it comes to where these guys like to live is they can live just about anywhere in the body, which is why parasite infections go so undiagnosed and undetected because we don't tend to think outside the box all that often. So you can find them in your joints, you can find them in your nerves, and when it comes to nerve problems, you'll start noticing numbness, tingling, and of course the nerves are directly connected to the brain. So if your brain health or your mood or other things are starting to get a little bit wonky, then you might want to think about parasites on your list of things to rule out. Stomach, of course, is a big one. Um, and the intestinal tract kind of goes with that because that's where a lot of the food sources are. And then, of course, the blood. And that's particularly how I find the amoebas and protozoa. And then eyes. And eyes are kind of a weird one. And when you think about it, a little bit disconcerting. But for the most part, we're finding that a lot of these bugs are living in the digestive tract or the blood. Um, now, just as an aside, and I, I'll touch on this a little bit later on anyway in some of my other videos, is the, the gold standard testing for parasites is stool. And very often you'll find that your stool test will come back negative. And it's because parasites don't want to live in the GI tract or live in the stool where they're getting evacuated from the body. They really want to be in an area where they're getting fed. And we'll talk about some of those food sources in another video. With regards to signs and symptoms, here's some of the things that you may want to be thinking about if you have these symptoms that parasites might actually be the root cause. And I've seen patients where the parasite overgrowth has been there for years and years and years, not necessarily just from eating a bad piece of food or from traveling or something like that. So we can definitely find anemias and whether that's iron deficiency anemia or what I see quite often is B12 deficiency. So these critters love to feed off your red blood cells and the nutrients that are found in there. So B12 deficiency tends to be a big one. What happens when you're B12 deficient is you have low energy. And I think almost everyone watching this video can say that energy is something that we would love to have more of. Chronic fatigue, same sort of thing. Chronic fatigue is another symptom that I see quite frequently in office. And what these parasites do is they're taking up all of your nutrition. They're taking up all of your immune energy stores. So your body isn't able to do what it needs to do to fight back and give you the um, pickup in your step. The other thing that they're doing quite frequently is causing adrenal fatigue. And adrenal glands are what's protecting you and keeping your stress levels under control and making sure that you can get through all the busyness of your day. 
And with the parasites kind of causing this chronic stress on the body, it's also wearing down your adrenal glands, which brings me to my last one, libido. So even low sex drive could be due from a parasite overgrowth. Um, allergies. So again, the immune system is involved here. If you're starting to develop seasonal allergies or allergies to elements of your house that you've never had before, you may want to look into parasites. And of course, skin conditions and chronic itching are probably the, the easiest way to start looking into parasite problems. Whether it's itching of the bum, whether it's itching of the skin, I've even had some patients be able to um, pop little lesions on their skin and pull little tiny um, what looks like grains of rice out of their skin, and they had a very severe parasite overgrowth. So these are some of the signs and symptoms you want to be thinking about, and follow along in our next series of videos, and then you can see you know, further information on what the parasites are doing to your body, how to identify, how to treat them, and how to get feeling better. I'm Dr. Andrea Maxim, naturopathic doctor, the creator of the Maxim Movement, and have a happy and healthy day.